Hey everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Boobs and Thighs and Boobs and Thighs. How many times can I say that in videos? I'm not trying to be like a pervert or anything like that, but literally, like, what do you what do you expect me to say, Smilegate? Look at this design. Like, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Like, she's wearing basically nothing. She has boobs bigger than watermelons like the biggest watermelons you've ever seen there's like six watermelons per boob she's got thighs that rival like i don't even know you know like it's just ridiculous this design is so insane to me um i don't even know if i like it like i it's an elf for sure as well and it does say uh shadow elf leader dreaming of tribal prosperity details will be released soon uh, this will be showcased in about 24 hours from now, by the way. I'll have a video. Make sure you are liked and commented and subscribed as we do this. Um, don't know much else to say about her other than she has painted nails, so she's 10 out of 10 for me. I don't know why that just does it for me. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's get into the survey here. Not much else to say other than, holy crap, look at those boobs. But we are getting the results back of the Epic 7 Balance Adjustment Survey held from February 25th to March 3rd. I hope everybody filled this in and gave them as much info as you can. And I'm really curious how they decided to um, kind of put it all together. And I'm curious if they mention if they're going to, you know, do anything about things that people said. As always, haven't read this yet. We're going to see it here first together. So please understand that this summary review does not cover all the questions and answers for the purpose of better readability. So, um, player rank of surveyees, uh, 51 to 69 and rank 70. So, this might be pretty obvious to y'all. Most people will or should be level 70. Uh, but the thing is, I would bet that this 51 to 69 is a lot higher than is shown here, specifically because anybody who is uh, doing this survey is likely level 70, especially since there were no rewards attached to it. This doesn't really mean too much. I guess it shows um, how many actual casual players, how many new players, how many uh, different types of players there are, but I would expect this to be like at least double that. I would expect like maybe 15% of players to be uh, under 70. Um, not that it matters too much, but uh, yeah. So, ooh, <laughs> so the five-star Moonlight Hero that is rarely used and needs to be considered for balance adjustments the most. Oh my lord. Silverblade Araminth, the number one. I don't think she should be number one. I think she's actually a pretty fantastic unit right now, and I think there's a lot of other um, MLs that have more of a problem than she does, but I will take this as a W. So... 17% of people said she deserved to be buffed. There's also uh, DJB. There's also Faithless Lydica, Spec Says, ML Ken, Judge Kise. It's kind of funny. Like, haven't a lot of these units, like Spec Says, ML Ken, Judge Kise, haven't all three of those been moderately to massively changed quite a bit? Uh, kind of nuts that they just keep getting this wrong or not good enough. Or maybe they keep getting it semi-right and then they release Clilius and then they release somebody else, right? Like maybe that's really what's going on. Um, Judge Kise, Dark Corvus, uh, Top Model Lulica, Remnant Violet, and Last Rider Crow. I think Remnant Violet is in an insane spot right now. I think he's a fantastic unit. Do not agree with that at all. Not sure about Last Rider Crow, to be entirely honest. Uh, TM Lulica also feels kind of iffy specifically because a lot of times you'll like um go to kill somebody and then somebody else will counter and kill her in one shot that makes it feel a little bit odd uh judge kise um probably the one that needs it the most i feel like if i was to unbiased put something in here i i think judge kise would need it the most judge kise or dark corvus probably dark corvus um legitimately but he's just so not fun you know i don't i don't want to think about judge Cor or dark corvus judge kise just feels unusable maybe she's still cleavable as we showed in a video recently but still i just don't find a use for her with so many like it was a problem to use judge kise when there was one counterattack unit we couldn't use her because there was a single counterattack unit and now the entire game is counterattack so i can understand why she's not really useful there also debuffs through the moon to to nullify her cleave um ml ken of course yeah this is this is pretty much what i expected to note i don't see like 
the the units that people really dislike here, like Bale and Cezanne, I don't know if he's good or not. I don't think he needs a buff. I think every time I've fought him, I've been surprised and he did exceptionally well. Uh, but I think people dislike his design, so he's not on this list. That's one thing to note when you're doing surveys like this, that uh, people definitely often go towards their favorites. They often gravitate towards their fa favorites. Ooh, is this survey for me? Oh, why thank you, Smilegate. I really appreciate it. So the four-star Moonlight Hero that is rarely used and needs to be considered for balance adjustments the most, Guider Aether. I love Guider Aether to death. I think he has a fantastic skill set. He's got, like, huge damage. He actually does ridiculous damage. Um, he has massive heals. He has massive barriers. He has heals over time. I think he's got some debuffs as well. He can stun as well. He can do all of the things. He's insane. He also has what I think is the best design exclusive equipment in the game. And he's just not good enough um, for many reasons. Number one, infinite dispels and I'm unable to be buffed. Uh, you can't really use them anywhere because not only do all the PvE stuff, but all the PvP stuff as well. Get rid of all your buffs. Get rid of all your um, ability to be buffed and everything like that. So... All of his kit is just nullified there. Like, you don't get barrier heals, you don't get heal heals, you don't get regen over time. Nothing at all works. Number two, he's got, like, 3,000 HP. Let's be real here. This dude just rolls over. Like, that little bird on top could, like, accidentally fly a little too fast around him and he'd fall over, you know? That's the biggest problem, I think, with him. Um, especially considering he is very, very stat hungry. I have tried him out for PvP. He's actually not... He's pretty terrible. I, I shouldn't say he's not terrible. He's pretty terrible. But I have tried him out in PvP a lot. He does boatloads of damage. But the thing is, he needs massive attack. He needs massive speed. He needs massive um, HP and defense to survive. And if you want to do damage with him with that attack to make that attack not useless, you also need crit rate and crit damage. So just not really viable. Um, it's kind of insane how big this is too. This is a massive, massive difference. Um, really interested to see. There's also Wanderer Silk, who's expected. Uh, don't really see a use for her too much, maybe in some PvE stages. Celestial Mercedes, I think it's hard to look at Celestial Mercedes and then look at Mercedes and be like, yeah, she might be good, you know? Like, there's no way. Um, there's just too many people that do what she needs to do now better um, without taking a turn, you know? <laughs> like, they don't even take a turn. They do what she does better. Then there's Great Chief Kwana, and I don't really agree with this one specifically because uh she does exactly what she needs to do perfectly but maybe that's not good enough in this type of game um in summoner's war or something again sorry for mentioning it. i should not have mentioned that y'all are gonna get angry uh by the way while you're getting angry go down there write a comment about how dumb i am and hit the like button um three times and then we're all good to go uh and then we have uh, Kiwana because I think she's fantastic. I use her for uh, Katie's if I ever do Katie's. And I think she's pretty good. Kind of interesting to see none at 6.3%. And then Shadow Rose, Romeo Warrior, Leo, Leo just uh, a whole group of people here. I think Blaze Dingo should be higher. I think Kitty Clarissa is perfectly good as she is. I think SSA... Uh, I actually can't really say much about SSA. Um, I think Roman Warrior, Leo definitely needs help as well. I have... Um, definitely use Guider Aether, Great Chief Kiwana, Roaming Warrior Leo, Blaze Dingo, and Kitty Clarissa quite a bit. So I feel like I have a decent amount to say here. Um, also, others include Benevolent Roman, Akali, uh, Fighter Maya, T. Surin, Challenger Dominial. Um, yeah, so that's another thing I want to talk about here is the units like T. Surin. T. Surin was a powerhouse. So... She's not anymore. She's still good, but she's not a powerhouse, again, due to the same reason that everybody else is inviable. Um, and she definitely needs help, I think, to be viable right now. But is it okay to let T. Surin stay at the wayside and buff people who have never had a time to shine? Um, I personally think so. Uh, I really think, like, T. Surin, while I think she could use some buffs, uh, I think she could not even use buffs. I don't, I don't know what she could use. Maybe add, like make her have to take another hit or something, I'm not really sure, but I feel like people in this list deserve the spotlight over people like T. Surin. It's the same thing uh, with stuff like this, right? LLR Kyle had his time to shine, you know? I guess technically SBA did as well. Um, Faithless Lydica did, but somebody like, you know, pretty much all of these had had their time to shine, as I say this. 
Uh, so maybe it's not really the same for ML5s. Either way, this is super cool. So the three-star Moonlight here that is mostly used. Yeah, I, I, I pretty much don't remember what I said, but none is pretty, pretty fine. I think I actually did say Gloomy Rain here. Um, or Inos or Sonia or something like that, just because I think they need a lot of help. Um, not really much to say here. Basically, uh, they just need to do specialty changes more often or just buff people's kits ahead of time. Otherwise, they're just never going to be used. It's really hard to, like, you you can't buff Gloomy Rain without a specialty change and make her useful, you know? Um, wait, does she get a specialty change? Did she? I don't even remember. Either way, you know, not great. So this is another really interesting one. And we see Araminta on the list, which is what I'm excited about. Haste, I've also talked about in the past. Haste was pretty fantastic at the start of the game. He was also very, very wanted. He was one of the most wanted units at the start of the game as well because you couldn't get him off his selective summon. And he was really good in Wyvern. He also has an insane PvE kit. Um... In, in other games that are not Epic 7, but take from Epic 7, or that Epic 7 stole from, I should say, a kit like this would be insane. The the ability to, to heal your team as a DPS, um, to get your runs down faster, stuff like that would be fantastic, but it's just not the state we have in Epic 7. I think when they thought about Haste, they thought he was going to be super overpowered and super amazing, and again, it just didn't turn out that way. That's one of the reasons why I believe he wasn't in the Selective Summon, just because... Um, they thought he was going to be that chase unit. Uh, Sez also needs help. Destina probably needs help as well. Pretty much all of these do, right? I don't think Dien does. I think Dien's still good at what she does. Semi, maybe. Um, same with Ray. Holiday Euphine. I, I think that's a little bit of bias as well. I think she's still a decent unit. Um, and we can see, like, Dizzy is included here. Uh, yeah, we definitely see some bias here. But I'd be I'd be happy with most of these, right? Uh, I especially am happy that Araminta is in there. I'm a little bit unhappy that she's not higher than that. I'm not happy she's not number one. So, And then we have four star that is rarely used, Dingo. Oh, I would love to use Dingo. He's got a really cool skill set just with the idea around him cooking food and stuff like that. I really love that idea. Dominial definitely needs some help as well. I feel like they buffed her and it wasn't going to do anything. This is This is actually what pisses me off, right? Everybody saw the Dominial change and was like, yeah, that's doing nothing. Um, and she took up a full slot on the list. And I tried her. Did nothing. Um, doesn't really, isn't, isn't useful anywhere. Isn't useful in PvE either. I tried her in Expedition or Inheritance or whatever it's called. Um, it's stuff like that really irks me, you know? All of that... That... Those... <sighs> highly coveted buff spots you know to get wasted by something like that is a little upsetting i would love to see cirilla up there too i just think there's so many fire units right now that burn and stuff you know give the og one some love maybe make cirilla a single target burn or something like that um i'm not sure Kali desperately needs some help as well i have tried her out i don't think she does enough damage i don't think um She's missing a lot. Basically, this is pretty much what I expected here. I'm kind of surprised to see Dingo up top, but he is one of the only ones who has just never been used, right? Um, Dominial has been used in some meme teams for fun. Silk was used early game. Um, I guess Kali, Zerato, Rome. I guess a lot of these weren't used. Four stars have been pretty bad in this game. I don't think they did the best balance choice or balance design with a lot of four stars. Uh, and then we see Godmother number one with Nemines, Musarima, um, Tiaria, Mascot, Hazel. The thing is, it's so frustrating for me. It's so hard to explain this to E7 players that haven't really played a lot of other gacha games. Um, and I'm going to say a game that people will get angry at me more than when I say Summoner's War. But in uh, pretty much every other gacha game, like... Alright, Shadow Legends. Sorry, I have to say it. Uh, you can use units like Musrima, and they're fantastic there. But there's just no place to play them in Epic Seven. There's no, there's no content for stuff like that. But in most other gacha games I've played and have played and enjoyed, 
There's a ton of different dungeons you can use them for that you want to do, that you need to do, um, that you want to either speed up your run, make them more consistent, so many other things, right? So it's really, really interesting for me to see stuff like Muse Rima and I don't even know what Godmother does, but Mascot Hazel with a fire team, like that should be good. They, they have decent character design for their bases in this game. They just have crappy level design um and 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 game design in terms of the the economy of the inside of the game and um i really wish people brought that up more and realized that more and uh maybe maybe i'm being too harsh but that's something i really really think about like somebody with moose's rima skill set is pretty good like she should theoretically be good a unit like that or somebody that greater attack buffs your fire units and heals and um, heal blocks, I think, like Mascot Hazel. Like, there should be a place for that, right? Like, should there not be a place for you to use somebody like that? Um, yeah, either way, five-star artifact. I Honestly, I don't know artifacts off the top of my hands. Do not know what Samsara player brigades does, but I know Iron Fan is the one that does extra damage versus an element, which, again, should be useful somewhere, but... It's just not in the state of the game. Um, I, I wish I had more info on these, um, but I, I know a lot of artifacts definitely, definitely need help. Um, Five-star uh, Moonlight players would like to have in Mystic Summons the most. The Mediator Cowric, yeah. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised by this because Mediator Cowric is more of a PvP like RTA unit and I, I really don't feel like there's a boatload of RTA players but maybe people um, filling out this survey are RTA players uh, maybe maybe he's great in Guild War offense and I just haven't found a great use for him also hey Ravi, Belion, ADM uh, make Chloe conquer Lilius yeah as expected I'm kind of surprised Spirit Eye Selene isn't more up there but I believe she was more recent and a waifu, right? Like, if you can see here, uh, A Ravi, it's been a while, I think. I guess Beline was recent. Uh, C Lilius was recent. Yeah, never mind. I, I don't really know what to say there. Uh, but we see AOL obviously going to take the cake here, and then Bad Cat Armin, obviously. And then Infertile Quazuzu, because he was the, the next newest, basically, that was decent. Um, not much to really say about this, uh, just what we expected. And we can see this many people want Kitty Clarissa, yet they also wanted him buff, or her buffed as well, so. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, uh, the next one wasn't like Guider Aether for uh, Transmit Stones. The Five Star Covenant players, yeah. Okay, if you're going to put limited units in here, um, of course it's going to be Isaria, then Dian, then Rimuru, then SSB, then Ram, then Amelia, then Landy, then Luna, then Ran is the only non-limited on here. That is hilarious. And Violet, Politis, and Tamarin. See? No matter how much they put Tamarin on, 69 other heroes. Nice. Um, no matter how many times they put Tamarin on, she still is needed by new players. So, survey and other valuable opinions have given us great motivation and insight to once again look back on where we can improve. The survey will serve as a great guide for future flan future future flans. We deeply appreciate your interest. Interesting. So. Judging from this, if if they are saying what they're going to say, one of the future patches will definitely have Silverblade Araminta and Desert Jewel Basar together as buffs, um, which will be kind of funny because DJB will counter the SBA. We'll also see a Guider Aether buff and possibly either Celestial Mercedes or Wanderer Silk is my guess. And then we'll see... Um, I don't know what they'll do with three stars. I think maybe they'll... I, I don't know what to say. Three stars are just so not usable for most of the people because of their stats it's really tough to say um and then probably like a haste and a destina buff or something like that like one of those top two as well um and then maybe like a dominial or a dingo rework and then like a silk or something like that i don't think they'll touch the dominial yet i think they'll have to like think that one over a little bit um but yeah let me know what you think about this and let me know what you did in the comments below. I was actually supposed to record mine and I completely forgot, uh, but basically Araminta. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye everybody.